there truly are miracles happening here each and every day. And uh, Doreen and I, a couple of weeks ago, got a chance to witness a miracle taking place where we were allowed to uh, actually witness and observe an open heart surgery. Yep, on a tiny, tiny little baby. Yep, just a few months old. And if you don't think that miracles happen here, then obviously you don't know what happens here. That It was just to watch the skill of the surgeons and yes. the caregivers and to, to see what they're able to do with their skill and their knowledge and their technology. And yeah, the, the robotic arms and the calmness of their own hands. Yeah, it's just amazing. I mean, truly, yes. truly a miracle. And it happens here every day every minute of every day. Mm -hmm. We're gonna talk about a miracle child right now. Joining us is Nick Hudzinski. Nick is uh, a dad of three and works at Landmark Credit Union. Wanna give a shout out to the Landmark Credit Union and people who are answering the phones. And you thank also you. volunteering thank you, thank you for your time. How are you doing time? today? I'm great, how are you? Doing good. Uh, Nick, by the way, at Landmark is a mortgage loan officer. Yep. Yeah. So the rates came down a little bit. A little bit, Which yep. is good, because yeah. it's a rough business to be in right now. Yeah, it is, yeah. Down, down a quarter percent. Which said, that's so. great news. Let's talk about RJ, your son RJ. You have two daughters. Yep. And they are how old? Uh, seven and 14. Okay, and how old is RJ? He's five. And the cutest little kid. He is so cute, but what RJ has gone through, when yeah. I say miracles, he really is your miracle he, child. He is our miracle baby. All right, so explain RJ and what he's been going through. Yeah. What do his parents go through? Yeah, so RJ was born with, uh, and he was deprived of oxygen in his brain. And so he had, was in the NICU and was on a chewing blanket for a short period. Um, but when he was born, they said he'd never walk, he'd never talk, he'd never do the most things that normal children do. Um, we were referred to Children's here shortly after he was born, and we've been a part of the family ever since. Um, they, we see nine different specialists here, um, and he has become a great um, miracle for our family. He walks, he talks, he runs. Um, he's learning to jump right now. He's about to um, go to kindergarten. And he's starting kindergarten. And they, for a child they said would never do any of that, it's all because of all the different specialists here. Well, I was going to say, uh, they have what they call complex care mm -hmm. specialists here. And explain what that does and helps when it comes to a situation like RJ. Yeah, so because RJ has so many different specialists that he works with, the complex care team helps us navigate all the different areas. They work with all the doctors. They have a doctor on their staff that will talk to all the specialists and helps us gather all the information, schedule appointments. Um, it's one of the best parts, I think, here at Children's. Well, yeah, because they're doing all of that that you don't have to, that you can spend time just worrying about RJ. Exactly. Taking care of him, doing what he needs in the family setting. And they're the first contact when we need something, like he, he had to go to the ER, we call them up, and they, they call the ER, let them know about his situation, they will work with us to get the specialists involved. Um, the complex care team is amazing. Well, you know, any one of us that are perfectly healthy and need to make doctor's appointments knows, it, or, or to get a prescription refilled, mm -hmm. how much of a hassle that can be. Imagine yeah. if you've got a job and a family and responsibilities, and then to add on to that, nine different specialists right. and trying to coordinate all those appointments, that's virtually impossible for a parent to do. Right. And it's, uh, they also helped us get into the dental program with the surge here, um, and they expanded the dental program. They were able to get us on the wait list and get him into that program um, and help us with that as well. So they also help us get into new specialties as we need them. And I, I have to stress this over and over again because I feel like I'm not doing my job properly if I don't. The things we're talking about, mm -hmm. like when it comes to RJ, these are things that are not covered by insurance. Right. These are things that are covered through philanthropy. And the reason moms and dads and grandparents and, and the kids and siblings talk about what a special place this is, the bulk of the time what they're talking about are things like child life specialists right. and things that make the stay here, yeah. right, things that make the stay here more palatable for the whole family. And you just said a key thing there, Nick, that you said as he needs these because, uh, you know, with a complex case like RJ, he's constantly changing his needs are changing and things uh, new things developing as you said with dental care and they are right on top of that uh, even before you are yeah exactly they they help us navigate every aspect of his care whether it's all of a sudden he has an earache and we're not sure if he can't hear so they get us into an audiology so they they navigate all of that and 
um, they have a, their pharmacist on staff who helps us with the medication refills. As you said, the, the hardest thing with managing is a lot of that medication stuff. And right. to have a pharmacist dedicated to helping with that is just amazing. And that's not covered by insurance. Yeah. That's a completely thing that's done here at Children's. So RJ is your youngest. You have yep. two daughters. Had you been to Children's prior to this with your daughters? I sure had. Um, my oldest daughter was actually had kidney reflux. And so she was seen here several times and okay. worked with the doctor um, to help with that. And then I had another daughter who broke her arm when she, my other daughter broke sure. her arm. So sure. we were frequent flyers here at Children's. Well, and that's a great that's a great point you make as well. That it's not just complex cases; it's simple things like the arm breaking or you know the kidney reflux. All of those things together, and they can help navigate those appointments so that maybe you could be here around the same time as you're here with RJ, so you're not here every day. Exactly, Nick. What would you say to moms and dads out there who are listening? Why should they support Children's? Um, we are so lucky to have Children's in our backyard. I think we forget that sometimes. And so to be able to help them, support them financially, that they can provide these services to people in our community is just amazing. And their outreach and their other, all the programs that they offer, I can't say enough good things on this. Well, we appreciate you sharing RJ's story. And volunteering today. And volunteering today. And thank you for giving back to the community. We appreciate that. Thank you. The story of RJ, a complex case, one of the many things they deal with. But as we talk about, it's not just, as Doreen mentioned, complex cases. It's everything that your child goes through, everything you go through as a parent. And I've said this before, and I'll say it again. Coming in here today, I parked in the garage, and there were many empty spots, probably a half a dozen on the level that I parked. Mm -hmm. And all I think when I walk by those empty spots is someone is going to be parked here later today that doesn't even know they're coming here. Yeah. And how incredibly, I mean, like, how reassuring is it to know that Children's is right here when we've got problems with our kids or grandkids or yeah, you nieces just and never know. You just never know. You don't know. And this would be the good time for the public service announcement to make sure to wear bike helmets all the time. Yes. And do not, whatever you do, ride around cutting your lawn with your child on your lap. You don't even want to know some of the stories that we've seen and been privy to here. And it only takes a second. Mm -hmm. And guess what? Most of the time, it's a guy, it's a dad with a kid on his lap, and they didn't think anything nope. was going to happen. They either. might as well. They might so. just, you know, I got them. I'm holding on to them. But no matter what it is, Children's is here to take care of it. And the amazing thing is they've seen it and done it before. They've got the experience. Make the phones ring. Your money's being doubled right now, 414-337-9554. And you can also donate online, and you can text 414-799-1965. Text the word MIRACLE, and you'll get a link back. You just have to click on the link, and you can donate that way as well. Nick, thank you. Thanks for having me. RJ, an amazing, amazing little guy, and thriving because of children. We're back with more Miracle Marathon next on KLH.